not make it this year, but Virginia, Florida State, Virginia Tech, uh, Louisville, uh, Syracuse was in it too. I mean, that right there says a lot. That says a lot. So Buzz Williams going over to Texas A&M. I think Texas A&M is trying to compete with Texas Tech, Texas Tech being in the Final Four. And they're trying to get their nice coach, uh, their highly touted coach. And uh, B. Sparrow, I am sorry to hear that, but she said they just pulled the plug on one of my cousins yesterday due to diabetes. Man, health is wealth. At this point in our lives, everybody, your health is your wealth. That's what it's going to allow you to be here for a long term. So go to your doctor, do do whatever it takes, exercise, eat healthy. Uh, Tar Heel fan too, appreciate that, B. Sparrow. I'm glad to hear that. Might have to get you on a show in the future. Uh, but make sure you click on that, that Avi and follow. Also, Calvin Sampson of Houston agrees to a six-year contract worth $18 million. He deserves it. Uh, putting this, this Houston team, they were undefeated for a while. I believe they won a total of 23 games. He has done a lot for that program. He deserves that. Shout out to Calvin Sampson. So the final four is here. Who is your picks to go to the final game? Auburn versus Virginia. I think Auburn has had a great run, uh, but I'm picking Virginia for two reasons. One, one, they're part of the ACC. Two, they have played consistent basketball all year. And... Three, I think Auburn is going to miss their one of their star players that they have lost. So I got Virginia, and I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Texas Tech on the other side. I think Michigan State brings a lot to the table, coaching wise. Uh, they have some well experienced players, but when it, when it's your time, it's just your time, and I don't know if you can stop that, or you can change that, or you can adjust that. And Texas Tech is hungry. They are hungry. They play very sound defense. And I think they're going to be the team that's going to face Virginia in the championship game. So those are my two picks. Let me know who you guys are picking to go to the next round games on Saturday. Monday is the national championship game. Which means we have very little college basketball left. March Madness went by like that. March Madness went by with basically a snap of the finger. Uh, It was here and then it was gone. And that's normally how it happens. Uh, ACC has some good players coming out, but only a few will get some... Uh, significant playing time, and, I, and that's and that's a great point. That is definitely a great point. And uh, yes, like my dad's quote, this is in honor of my grandmother, which is my dad's mother that passed away last year. Her birthday would have been tomorrow, and we're going to celebrate her. So also we got the NIT championship tonight, Texas versus Linscombe. And yes, I did say Linscomb. I didn't know they had a basketball team, first of all. But hey, they're in the NIT championship. I'm going to lean towards Texas just because of the competition that they face. And I'm a Shaka Smart fan. And Texas is just in a a tougher conference. Um, So that's what I'm going to go with. Mochi says Michigan State versus Auburn. And I have Michigan State taking the crown. Okay. And that could definitely happen. That could 100% happen because Tom Izzo, Cassius Winston, uh, you know that they're going to play sound defense and they're going to play hard. But I got Virginia winning it all. That's that's who I have winning it all. Uh, Major League Baseball, as we get towards the end of the show, we got about seven minutes left in the show. Coming up next, uh, the Bang Nets show will be coming on the network. 
Manny Machado hits his first home run with the Padres. I was tracking to see when he was going to hit his first home run. Bryce Harper has a dominant day back in Washington. He goes back to Nationals Park, has a three-hit game, hits a 458 homer. You think he's a little bit upset or frustrated with the Nationals? Maybe. That was a dominant game. Also, he had an epic bat flip. Now, look, Major League Baseball needs to calm down. Like, bat flips are really not that big of a deal. They are really not that big of a deal. It it is, it is, it is, it is minuscule. Like, flipping a bat should really not be the highlight of your game. That bat flip takes two and a half seconds. And Major League Baseball blows bat flips like out of proportion, which I don't understand that. Home runs is the exciting part. The bat, the, 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 excuse me. The bat flip to me is like whatever. Okay, that's a part of it. The Cleveland Indians sign an extension with their manager, Terry Francona. Uh, since 2013, they went 5, 47, and 4, 27. They went to a World Series in 2016 and won three consecutive division titles. I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it. Uh, UFC News, Daniel Cormier versus Brock Lesnar for a title fight in August. Reportedly, that's what the UFC is working on. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar back in the UFC. Stay in the WWE. That is really, truly your lane. Stay over there. Stay over there, please. I want to see Daniel Cormier and John Bones Jones. This will be part four. I believe this will be part four. I want to see that. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar coming back. Stay in the WWE. You've created a great lane there. And I don't want to see a like Lesnar fight, but reportedly that's what the UFC is working on. Shout out to the local teams, the Dallas Stars going to the playoffs in hockey. The Rangers are 4-2 and two right now, which is a surprise. I was expecting them to be like 0-6 right now. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the show, and, and uh, shout out to Cool Sale, he put that in the chat room. He, uh, like he said, Stephen A. Smith getting a huge contract. So, and I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it. Uh, He's put in the work. He has the biggest, loudest mouth on ESPN. But I think in in a lot of rights, he has saved ESPN. Uh, Jay-Z creates a $15 million fund for Nipsey Hussle's kids. Like, Jay-Z puts his money. He puts his money to help people. I was going to say he puts his money where his mouth is, but I don't really hear him talking about the things that he that he's done. I just see reports coming out about it. So he puts his money, I think, in the right places. Uh, Putting up a fund for Nipsey Hussle's kids was helping out uh, wrongfully accused young men that were in jail. I don't agree with a lot of his... uh, Views, I would say, in, in J, as Jay-Z, but I would say he is a philanthropist at the fullest. 100%. Shout out to KC in the building. KC in Puerto Rico in the building. Uh, hopefully, you got a pass from uh, from your wife or if you're on a break or something, but I wasn't expecting to see you because I know you're enjoying enjoying your time. Beyonce and Adidas have reached a... New partnership. Beyonce has signed to Adidas as a creative director. Uh, and I, I fully get it because she has access to people that athletes don't have access to. She has a following that is huge. I don't get it sometimes, but she has a following that's huge. And she can bring in customers that some people cannot. Uh, so shout out to Beyonce and Jay Z doing their thing in, in both uh, respects. 
Shout out to Sydney Jackson, Sid Jackson in the building. Much appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we got a couple minutes left in the show. Next up, we will have the Bang Net show right here on X Squad Radio. Um, will you? Are you guys going to see Pet Cemetery? Uh, it's in the theaters. I thought this was the. I thought this was the old movie that they just decided to replay, but this is actually a new version of the movie. Will I be going to see it? Probably not. Uh, but I, up until today, I thought this was the old movie that they just brought back to the theaters. But uh, Pet Cemetery is definitely one of those uh, those old Stephen King horror movies. Also, today is National Burrito Day. So get a burrito on yourself. I was going to say get a burrito on me. But I'm not paying for you to get a burrito, so I'm not going to say that. But uh, get a burrito. Maybe go to Chipotle. Maybe they have some type of special deal or something. Uh, But today is National Burrito Day. Uh, The big news of today, like uh, the title of the show, Big 3 will be on CBS. If you're not on it yet, make sure to get on the Big 3. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to a special edition of the BS3 Sports Show. I will not be on tomorrow. Uh, Like I said, doing a Facebook Live prayer tomorrow in memory of my grandmother and people that have lost a loved one. My grandmother, Margie Lydia Lawrence, uh, her married name, Sutterth. Uh, That is my dad's mother. My dad's in the chat room right now. So I'll be sharing that out tomorrow on my social media. So make sure that you guys... Uh, join in. Uh, I think you should join in. So have a good rest of your day. Bang that show coming up next. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. God is love. Peace.